Welcome to How to Cook. I'm Bill Cook, and I'm making some breakfast tacos, but not traditional breakfast tacos, if there is such a thing. These are a little different because I'm using some leftover barbecue smoked hot links. These are really, really spicy, and they make great tacos. Um, you may have seen the Cajun pasta episode. I'll put a link there someplace. And uh, this is uh, the two I had left over, so I'm turning this into tacos, and I'm going to show you how. This works if you don't have smoked hot links. It'll work with kielbasa, any sort of thing. Probably not hot dogs or Italian sausage, but whatever else you got, as long as it's got some spice on it, we're good. So let's get started. First thing we gotta do, I pointed over there even though we're starting here. First thing you gotta do is you gotta cut up your sausage. Hold on there, other me. First, we've gotta wash and peel a potato, and then we're gonna chop it into some cubes. As soon as that's ready, we're gonna dice up some onion as well. Now back to me. These are like natural casing sausage things, and they're uh, pretty awesome. But they uh, have some pretty stubby ends on them. So we're just going to pull the ends off because they're a little chewy. Okay, so we're going to split these in half lengthwise. And then we're going to split these halves. I don't know. Can you see in... Oh, man. These things are crazy. They are full of uh, peppers and things in there. The red bits and the... Oh, my goodness. They're crazy. But, yeah, we're just going to dice these up. And then get these in a pan, cook up all the rest of this, and I'll show you all of that momentarily. But we start here. Does mise en place get all of your stuff ready to go first? Get it all diced up the size you need, that way you can cook the fastest. That is always best, especially when you're hungry. And one more for fun. There, okay. So you got little pieces like that that uh, are perfect for this. We're gonna turn that into a piece, yeah. But uh, maybe that, yeah, at least not one up. Those two pieces, those aren't pieces. All right, we can cook up that. I don't need this much onion, but that is just one small little potato. That'll make about four tacos, something like that. Uh, this will make a lot of tacos, and uh, that's uh, one egg per taco, more or less. Uh, I have more eggs off the side. I just put these here for show. These are show eggs. This is a show. You know, stunt eggs. Yep. All right. So uh, I'm going to cook this up and switch cameras and uh, get going. There you go. We're starting with some oil in a pan. That's maybe just over a tablespoon of oil. It doesn't take a ton, but the pan's about 350, 360, something like that, the temperature. We're just doing this kind of a medium, medium high heat. We're putting our cubed up potatoes in here and we're going to cook these a total of about seven minutes before we add the sausage and keep going. That's about how long it'll take to cook the potatoes and get a nice crisp on them. You want these crispy so that they're not just mushy mashed potatoes in your tacos. That would be gross. So uh, just coat them in the oil, do that, and then we're gonna put a cover on them to help steam them a little bit. This has been about four and a half, five minutes, you can see they're starting to get color. There's always one potato that tries to escape and that's why you keep your stove spotlessly clean. So you don't feel bad about throwing it back in. I know it's a pain in the butt, but when you're as messy as I am, it works out in your favor. Anyways, now that we've got that uh, nice little crisp on them, the potatoes are about 80% done. We're gonna throw in the onion and start cooking those down. Uh, we are not adding much salt or anything else at this point. You don't really salt potatoes as they cook. You want to do it afterwards. If you're drying out the moisture inside, you can't get them crispy. You want to keep the moisture inside. So salt at the end. That's uh, just a potato one-on-one thing. You're welcome. There you go. All right. As soon as this is nice and crispy, we're going to add our diced up hot links. Now these are already cooked, they don't take long. We just wanna put a little bit of color and a little bit of uh, heat into them. And as soon as we have that handy, we're gonna throw in a pat of butter. This is just under a tablespoon of butter. This is gonna help us cook our eggs. This is two eggs and a tablespoon of milk and a little bit of salt and pepper in there. We're gonna throw that on the half of the pan without the uh, meat and potato mixture. 
and we're just going to bring that together like we always do when we're making something like this you've seen me do this in other videos just bring it together until you get it to where you can flip it as a whole thing now mix everything together really good we're going to add a handful of monterey jack cheese we're going to add a scoop of salsa and we're just going to mix 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 until the eggs are all done and that is basically uh, how you make breakfast tacos uh, you can use again any meat you want to in this and if you're using something that's less spicy add a little more heat at this point throw a little bit uh, of hot sauce in here something like that even some diced up jalapenos would be delicious uh, but these are spicy uh, spicy spicy links so I don't really need to add anything now let's make some tacos that was pretty quick uh, because they're breakfast tacos they go pretty fast you saw how they cook you saw how to do all this stuff, and now all I have to do is assemble. Now, I'm hungry, and they're small, <laughs> and I'm big, so three tacos it is. Yeah, um, I would put more eggs in this. I would. I uh, put too much meat in it. Put less meat or more eggs, or just eat it like that. There you go. But uh, yeah, this is uh, delicious and amazing, and it's gonna make a mess. So, just, it's going to make a mess. There's only so much you can control in life. That's why you come back and you fix your messes. Like that. And like that. And like that there. And a little bit more here. Oh yeah, you load these suckers up because you've got it. And it's delicious. So trying to get as much eggs here as possible because I didn't use as much, enough eggs. So it'd be a shame if there was some left on the on the in the pan here, on the plate. That looks like a breakfast taco. It does okay. This is a pretty good salsa. Remember, if it comes in a jar, it's faster. So, oh, you got to put some of this on there. This sausage that I'm using is like insanely hot. It's not habanero hot. It's um, somewhere in between a jalapeno hot and a habanero hot. Uh, it's a little extra spicy. Mm, so it doesn't need a ton of extra seasoning on this. It just needs cheese because, oh, come on. What's the number one rule they have that they always tell you? Dietitians and stuff is never eat cheese for breakfast. They've never had these tacos. There you go. This uh, extra heat from this is going to melt this down. These are friggin' amazing. These are gorgeous. These are incredible. I will do a ooh dare for the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's uh, that's breakfast tacos. Uh, I hope uh, I hope that's something you want to make because that's something I want to eat, uh, and then we'll have that in common. It's kind of cool, huh? All right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll come up with something else fun to do next. And uh, hit the uh, subscribe thing down there, maybe the thumbs up thingy if you feel like it, because uh, I always appreciate that, and leave me comments. I love the comments. I try, to, I try to reply to the comments as much as possible. Sometimes there's a lot of comments, but uh, I love it, so keep them coming. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. All right, thanks.